It's only fitting that a book examining the history of one of the most compulsively detailed motion pictures ever made should spring from one writer's equally compulsive obsession with that picture. It's also somewhat ironic that, while director Ridley Scott and company took only two years to complete Blade Runner, future noir took fifteen. This book, and my fascination with Scott's moody, seminal, hyper-detailed cinematic milestone, actually began before the first frame of Blade Runner was shot or sent to the laboratory. In June 1980, nearly a full year before principal photography began, I was assigned by editor Frederick S. Clark to write a special double issue of Cinefantastique magazine on the making of Blade Runner. This report was to take the form of a comprehensive production history, one intended to chart every aspect of the motion picture by examining such various production minutiae as the film sets, scripts, costumes, cast, crew, and special effects. My initial reactions on receiving this assignment? Exhilaration and apprehension. After all, Blade Runner was being directed by then-red-hot filmmaker Ridley Scott, fresh off the box office triumph of his gothic science fiction hit Alien, the somber flip side of Star Wars' joyous kineticism. Moreover, Blade Runner had been adapted from the intriguing novel Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? A complex rumination on the effects of dehumanization by a master of paranoid alternate realities, noted science fiction author Philip K. Dick. Blade Runner was also set to star one of the most bankable Hollywood actors, Harrison Ford, and was to be produced by seasoned veteran Michael Dealey, a man whose most recent effort, The Deer Hunter, had won the 1978 Academy Award for Best Picture. Furthermore, the Hollywood gossip mill was buzzing with rumors that Blade Runner was to be one of the most expensive genre pictures yet attempted.